Hey guys, it's been a while. I know I look a mess. Um, and I still have yet to jump in the shower and make this look decent. But um, I thought I'd come on here and show you guys what I'm packing because I'm getting ready for um, my set bag. Hey everybody. So um, I thought that since I'm getting ready to go on film, I would show you what I'm packing in my set bag. So adjust this here. So if you don't know what a set bag is, it's a nice, durable, all-weather bag, okay? Um, you'll see a lot of ones that are see-through. I don't like those ones simply because I've had problems with people. Oh, I can see through it. I can go through it. Um, haven't had the problem since I've had this one. Um, these should be able to be set in the snow, in a mud puddle, in a, in a sand and dirt um, on anything and it'd be okay. Um, so this is mine and I will go over it a little later. And it has pockets all the way around. I always put a tag on mine with my name and if you see right here, I'll try and hold this, I have, these are really, really invaluable, um, Sharpies, 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 Sharpies. I have regular pens if you notice here. I have a pencil. Carry a pencil. Do not write in a script and pen. Um, things constantly change. So Sharpies, pencils. Uh, I always have scissors here as well. Um, they're being sharpened right now, so some stuff is uh, being so refilled and stuff. The, the first thing that I put in is a binder. Now this has a copy of the script, call sheets, call sheet is basically what time you show up, where you show up, a map, forecast, who you're working on, what scenes it keeps you so you know what's on, what you're doing. Um, so I always keep that and put that into my bag. Okay, so this is for touch-up, so this is a, a couple of palettes. And I just want to say too, as a disclaimer, um, there's a lot of stuff, and I'm going to have to divide the videos, but I'm working on a lot of people. It is on a film. I think the biggest day that we have, we're working on 30 people. So you don't need all this stuff. If you don't do special effects, you don't even need half of this stuff. So don't use this as how to build my kit. Um, I can do a video on that later, but don't feel like that's what this video is about. Okay, so palette. We are using, since we have people outside, um, and even though it is spring around most areas, right now, even though it's spring here, we still, we just got snow the other day. So, um, we are using waterproof makeup with alcohol activated palettes. I'm using Skin Illustrator, um, and the ones that we're, uh, we're using for the film is Necromania. And I'll show the colors real quick. Now, these have been used, so they do look a little used. So in that goes. Uh, the second one we're using is Skin Illustrator FX. If you're trying to figure out which active al alcohol activated palette to get, this is the one. It does everything from characters to bruising to cuts to blood this is the one to start out with. Okay, that's gonna go in there. Um, this one I don't. Use, I'm not using so much on um, set as much. It does get a little little love, but it's the Krylon Super Color in AC, and it has every color you could need. Um, this is more used for masks and stuff like that, but this is the palette. Okay. Um, so that goes in there. Um, that's good for grease and grime. All right. So here's the other palette I have. It is an eyeshadow palette by Ben Nye. And it is the Glam palette. And this is what it looks like. And this has great colors for contouring doing beauty makeup and um, 
some highlighting as well. This is a very good universal palette. Neutral colors, everything is matte um, in this palette. So that's a good one. Whoops. Well, close. All right. So that's going to go in my bag. Now, since I'm working on certain characters that have certain things for, you know, the horror film that we're working on, um, mainly like dentures, custom dentures, contacts, um, stuff like that, I don't like to leave those laying around. So I carry those on with me in case they need to take them out. Uh, in case they get something in their eye. I also keep a small bottle of solution in here as well. I have to get one on the way there. Um, but I like to keep them in the box. Um, I, of course, put them in their own little things. Keep them in this box. Keep a little thing of fluid in here, and then you have everything. Same thing with the dentures, the custom dentures. They're small. They're easy to lose. Um, and I do the same thing where I keep it on the, um, uh, in the box. So, so that goes in there. Um, for touch-ups also, if I need to thin something out, um, like a, uh, wound, uh, whether I do, got to do adjustment, um, I got some witch hazel. This is also good. We had a character who was pretty contoured up and bloodied up and had to clean her face in a hurry. Um, this is astringent, so it will clean it. And in case I do have to do any touch-ups with the alcohol-activated palette or remove some stuff, I have alcohol. And I like these bottles. Um, they don't leak, and they don't let a lot of liquid out. So, um, all at once. So I got those. Um, tooth enamel. Even though we have dentures, we also have some zombies that don't. So it's a good thing. Um, if you are doing tooth enamel for other people, disposables, disposables, use disposables. When I mean disposables, disposable mascara ones. But for this, you use disposable lip, um, lip gloss brushes. Um, don't sit there, open it up, and use this brush for everyone. Um, so that's a good tip. So that's going to go in the back. Powder. Ben Nye, love this stuff. Nutriset, great translucent powder. Um, we'll always have it. Had it. Had this little container for two years, been using it religiously, and hardly gone. Hey guys, so you can see the scenery's changed a little bit. I still look like a hot mess. I'm so sorry, people. Um, there are some things that I forgot to add. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep to um, my set bag. It has changed from day to day because there's so many different characters we're working on, but the things that I've had to add in well, that I forgot. One is baby wipes. Don't waste your money with the makeup wipes. These work just as well. And... When you have to clean up a character in between shots and redo their makeup completely to a different scene, you need these. Um, they're very, very helpful. Also, some actors, um, you know, when they have blood on them, get blood on parts that they're not supposed to. You need to clean it up in between takes. Baby wipes. Those should go into your set bag as well. Even though it's been snowing and people have been in the water, they have been getting sunburned because the sun will be out. Um, so I have brought my adjuster palette. Um, it is not a concealer. It is an adjuster, a corrector. Um, and I have been using, I find the yellow works so much better than green. Uh, green leaves a weird funky color on you. Um, so I've been adding that to my set bag as well. And those are the two things. All right. Um, so when you are on set and standing, um, you're going to be standing a lot, especially working on that many people. You're going to have people coming in. You're going to do their makeup. And then once they get up, someone's sitting back down. So you really don't have um, a whole lot of time in between clients. At least I haven't um, to 
kind of relax. Um, so anyway, um, you can hear some rattling. Advil, something for um, your feet will hurt. Doesn't matter how comfortable your shoes are. Uh, I got Advil liquid gels. So that's going to go in there. Um, headaches, they do happen. I get migraines, and if you, any of you have had a migraine, you know how that goes. <clears throat> Excedrin migraine. This stuff is gold on set because when someone gets a headache and you have something like this, oh, you've made their day. As well as breath mints. No one wants your rank breath. It, like getting, you're going to be close to each other. Um, you're going to be eating in between takes. Take some breath mints. I prefer this because I can't stand people chomping gum in my face. So I don't do that to them. So that as well. Not being able to get any sleep. Um, it, it, this is my disclaimer. Do not use this if you have allergies. Do not use this if you have contacts. This is meant for people who have not slept in a while. Um, this is meant for people who have bloodshot eyes. Um, and only getting two hours of sleep, that will do it to you. Um, this is meant for very fatigued eyes. And these are the ROH, uh, -R Roto, R-O-H-T-O, ice eye drops. And they are for fatigue, bloodshot eyes. It takes the red out and it refreshes. It has a cooling sensation on your eyes. So I put that in my set bag for myself. Fingerless gloves. I know it seems stupid, but we're outdoors a lot. You need your fingers as a makeup artist. Fingerless gloves, arm warmers, whichever. Um, if you're warm climate, you don't have to worry about this, but being outdoors, whether it's raining and it's nice out or, or just cold out, have those. And that is the last things that I put into my bag that I forgot to put. So aside from my phone, um, which don't leave your phone on on set, um, even if you turn on to vibrate, it can affect other uh, equipment. But that is my touch-up bag. Um, that is my set bag. So that's what I carry with me um, when we're doing a set outside or whatever. And I have everything that I need. That I do carry some of my brushes. They're being they're drying right now because I just clean them. I clean them every night after I'm done. Deep cleaning. I wanted to show you guys the brushes that I've been using that I keep in my set bag. And um, headband for people that you're working on. I hate clips. This works for men with short hair, kids, everything, and you can spray it with alcohol and use it on other people. A mixing spatula. We've been having to mix bloods and stuff. I always want to have it handy in case they want mixed bloods. Comb for hair. Okay. Um, so I have been carrying. Uh, these are Royal Lane Nickel. Um, Silk Pro. This is the Eyebrow C490. It is a small little liner brush. I've been doing details and um, wrinkles and emphasizing wrinkles. This is another good one. This is Real Techniques um, detailer brush. Really, really works for getting into small areas as well. Packing on color, inner eyes. Pencil brush, again, another Lang, um, Royal and Lang Nickel um, Smudger C420. My favorite, favorite brush. I have multiples, Royal and Lang Nickel Crease C430. It's good for everything here, 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 here. I mean, just universal. Contouring Cheeks, Real Techniques, Contour Brush. Perfect size for that. I don't like huge um, powder brushes, but I do like this Real Techniques blush brush. I like the shape of it because you can get underneath eyes. You don't have to go over eyes. You can go under them, get in between noses. It's great for kids and adults, which I've been working on. And I like to put my brushes where they're handy on the side here where I can just grab them and not grab my rush bra. Because when a uh, director asks you, I need this touched up now, I know where they are, I grab it, I got it.
So those are the brushes that I've included in my set bag. I thought you guys might like to see which ones I've been using the most. So that's what I have. I, I hope this was interesting. I hope you guys found it um, helpful in some way. Um, I will be posting more on packing um, my special effects stuff because there's, like I said, there's a bit, but don't feel like um, this is what you need to start your own special effects makeup kit, um, you know. So I hope you guys are doing well. I miss talking with you guys and, and doing stuff, but um, I've hoped this helped in, in some way. And um, it's been overwhelming. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.